Well, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another tier list video on Zero Sievert. Today, we're going to be looking at snipers. And just a quick refresher here, the wiki is actually not up to date on its information. So um, what I had to do was go into the game and compile all of the info myself. Um, and then I'm going to throw that info up on the screen for you while I talk about each weapon, and then I'll place it on the list. Another quick refresher too here, all the green numbers you see on your screen, those are going to be best in class or tied for best in class. All the white numbers are going to be somewhere in the middle range. And then all the red numbers are going to be either worst in class or tied for worst in class. All right, let's get started. So starting off with EDL here, we've got an ammo type of 7.62 by 51. Penetration is going to be 29, 40, or 65, depending on which bullet type you take. Uh, the damage is normally going to be 55, and if you take the ammo type to maximize this damage, you'll be getting 63, rounded down. And if you take the ammo type that maximizes penetration, then you'll be getting a uh, damage of 47, rounded up. Accuracy is going to be 98. Recurl is going to be 140. Ergonomics is going to be 67. That's actually best in class. The magazine size for the EDL and all other snipers uh, in their stock form is going to be 5. And that's sold by the Crimson Corporation at a price of 28,670 rubles. Um, the other cool thing about the EDO is it also has a built-in suppressor, which makes it um, pretty good when you're trying to snipe people from long range without having uh, other people know where you're uh, shooting them from, as well as it's like sniping ghouls or boars and not having the entire herd come uh, barreling towards you. But yeah, so... For me, the EDL is going to be an A tier. It's super, super great. Um, it does uh, come with the ability to field the highest penetration ammo in the game, uh, 65. The uh, damage that you get on it is actually worse in class um, for that bullet type, but that suppressor, um, along with the, uh, the best in class ergonomics, um, I think it really, really holds a good case here for you for your sniper, um, especially if you don't want to have to worry about going in and finding a suppressor for a sniper rifle later. All right, moving on to the nose and VS-98. Now we've got an ammo type of 7.62 by 54R, penetration of 32 or 57, depending on which ammo type you take. The damage is going to be 55, and there's actually no, um, there's no special ammo that increases damage, so it's going to be 55 on the max damage there too. If you take the ammo type that specializes in penetration, uh, your, am your damage is going to be 50 rounded up. Accuracy is going to be 97. Recoil is going to be 168. Ergonomics is 33. Again, that magazine size is 5, and it's sold by the Green Army at a price of 28,700 rubles. Um, for me, I think I'm going to put the VS-98 at a B tier. Um, it is kind of the all-around sniper rifle. It's not the best in anything. It's not the worst in anything. Um, you can use it in almost every situation. Uh, it does lack that. Um, it does lack the 65 penetration bullet. It would be better. I think it would be an A tier if it had that. Um, but it's not the worst sniper rifle by any means, and it can do good work. So I'm going to keep it in B tier. All right, moving on to the nose and macant here. We've got an ammo type of 7.62 by 54R. Penetration of either 32 or 57, depending on which ammo type you take. The damage is going to be 52. That's actually worse in class. And there is no ammo type that actually increases that. So you're going to be stuck with that. Um, you're going to be stuck with that 52 damage there. Um, if you do take the ammo type that increases penetration, though, uh, you'll have a, a damage of 47 rounded up. Accuracy is going to be 94. That's going to be worse in class for the snipers, as well as uh, the recoil is going to be 170. That's also worst in class. Um, the ergonomics is going to be 20. Magazine size, again, that's going to be 5. And then it's going to be sold by the barman for a price of 16,900 rubles. All right, so for me, the Nozum Makan, I'm going to put this in D tier. Um, it does have the worst of pretty much all of the stats um it is good don't get me wrong like in the start of the game it's everybody's first uh sniper rifle they have access to so like on the forest something shift camp like it's not bad um but in comparison to the other sniper rifles on the list uh it's definitely the one that you would want to take the least unless you're strapped for money um because it is significantly cheaper than almost any other sniper rifle all right, moving on to the Marauder 700 Modern here. We've got an ammo type of 7.62 by 51. 
the penetration of 29, 40, or 65, depending on what GMO type you take. Uh, the normal damage um, on this weapon is 65, which is best in class. Um, if you take the ammo type that specializes in damage, it's going to be 75 rounded up, which is also best in class. And then if you take the ammo type that maximizes penetration on the bullet, it's going to be 55 rounded down, and that's also best in class as well. Um, accuracy is going to be 99, which is best in class, and recoil is going to be 120, which is, again, best in class. Um, ergonomics is going to be 61. Magazine size, again, that's going to be 5. And it's sold by the Crimson Corporation for a price of 52,150 rubles. All right, so I don't think it's going to surprise anybody that I'm going to put this up in S tier. It has the best baseline stats of any sniper rifle. Um, it will absolutely melt people. It doesn't have the EDL uh, suppressor, though, uh, built in, but that's okay. Um, it's super moddable, um, as well as um, it's just really, really, really great. It's also the most expensive sniper rifle in the game, um, so just be aware of that but it is definitely worth it. And last but not least, we've got the Marauder 700. The Marauder 700's got an ammo type of 7.62 by 51, penetration of 29, 40, or 65, depending on which ammo type you take, a damage of 55 normally. Um, if you take the ammo type that specializes in damage, it's gonna be 63 rounded down. And if you take the ammo type that specializes in penetration, it's gonna be 47 rounded up. That's actually tied for worst in class with the EDL. Um, accuracy is going to be 95. Recoil is 150. Ergonomics is going to be 15. That's also worst in class for any sniper rifle. Magazine size, again, that's going to be 5. And then it's sold by the Crimson Corporation uh, for 25,000 rubles. So for me, the Marauder 700 is going to be, uh, it's going to end up being a C tier. It is better than the Macan, um, because it does have the ability to have that 65 penetration bullet. Um, but it's definitely worse than the VS-98 because of that ergonomics, um, as well as um, it's just not as, uh, as powerful um, in general as any of the other uh, sniper rifles. Um, but I do, uh, I do think it's way more flexible than the Makant, so for that reason, I'm going to put it in C tier. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow. Um, as well as it does take quite a long time to um, compile all of the data for these videos. Um, but let me know in the comments um, which tier list you'd like to see next, um, and I will try to make that happen as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, bye.